This is the worst time of year for kitchen fires. You heat up oil in a pan and before you know it, the pan is in flames. Cooking fires are the cause of nearly 500 deaths and 5,000 injuries each year. And we found out that many people don't know what to do if it happens to them. CBS 2's Dorothy Tucker finds out the do's and don'ts of fighting a cooking fire. Just a few seconds and a small cooking fire erupts into a raging inferno. Do you know what to do in case of a grease fire? No. I don't know what I would do. Unfortunately, most people don't know what to do because we see it time and time again, people doing the wrong thing. Jason Ziegler admits he did the wrong thing when oil for his chicken wings caught fire. I see a bunch of smoke and I see a flame coming from the pot. So he grabs the pot to take it outside, but moving adds oxygen to the fire, helping it grow. That's when it flashed over and caught my arm and I dropped the pot and it come up on me. Uh, I was burned here on my right arm and the right side of my face right here and onto my ear. What would I do? Um, maybe throwing water on it? That's wrong because water and oil don't mix. It hits that very hot pan, immediately turns that water to steam and creates the fireball as you've seen that rolled clear across the kitchen. <gasps> That's not a good idea at all. So you walk into your kitchen mm -hmm. and you see this. I would put a wet towel over it. That's wrong because just like the water, it creates steam that leads to an explosion of flames. Another option many of the people we talked with chose, flour. But that's also a bad choice. Once that flour gets into that burning oil, it continues to froth and, and, and continues to boil over, causing the fire to spread quicker. That's an even worse catalyst. Exactly. So what should you do? The best choice is really the easiest. Grab the nearest lid. Take the lid and slide the lid right over the burning pot. And immediately after that, you want to shut the stove off. Cover it with the lid. Pretty simple. If you don't have a lid close by, grab a cookie sheet. But here's the most important tip. Leave the pan alone. Here's what happens if you remove the lid too soon. Taking the lid off of the pan could cause the pan to reignite very quickly. Dorothy Tucker, CBS 2 News. And there's one more obvious choice, and that is a fire extinguisher. But the right one may not be the type you already have in your home. Make sure you have an extinguisher that's made specifically for cooking fires. Look for that designation written on the box and on the instructions. This type of extinguisher just hit store shelves last year.